GPU prices are finally gonna come back to earth. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by VIPCDKDeals.com. CDK Deals is a website dedicated to getting you the best prices on games and software, and right now, you can get a Windows 11 CD key for an insanely low price. Just find the best price and apply my special discount code GPC20 for an additional 30% off. You can also check out securely with PayPal, and once the payment is cleared, you should get access to the code both in your account as well as in your email. In order to activate the new copy of Windows 11, just search Activate under Windows and type in your key. So if you want to learn more, be sure to click the link in the description below. Okay, so I just logged on to Twitter or X and I found an interesting article coming from the website WCCF Tech talking about how GPU prices, specifically the RTX 50 series, could be finally coming back down. Now, According to WCCF Tech, they state, quote, NVIDIA and AIB partners are planning aggressive RTX 50 GPU price cuts amid inventory pressure from reduced sales. And the person they quoted apparently is getting their information from board channels via chip hell. And if we take a look at what they said, it says, quote, urgent attention graphics card manufacturers across various brands may soon begin adjusting prices. Some have already begun preemptively adjusting the cost of the RTX 50 series by the end of the month, aiming to help distributors achieve their in targets in the final days of July. This is primarily due to a recent sharp drop in terminal sales, which has led to continued declines in wholesale and retail prices, significantly increasing inventory pressure and creating a reality of oversupply. Industry experts generally expect graphics card manufacturers to continue lowering the cost prices in August to maintain market liquidity and stabilize sales. Distributors nationwide are advised to evaluate their inventory and pricing strategies and prepare for a coordinated response. Then WCCF Tech goes on to state, previously we reported on a rumor that Nvidia is reducing the RTX 50 supply by more than 30% in markets and it seems like price adjustments are a result of the move. Usually around quarter three to quarter four timeline, current gen GPU offerings are available at a much better price, mainly attributed to GPU companies capitalizing on the consumer upgrade cycle. And since Nvidia reportedly has GPU oversupply, this particularly means that Team Green will implement rapid price cuts and we have already started to see the effects. So that's what WCCF Tech is stating. And by the way, if you wanna read the whole article, I will have it linked in the description below so you can see everything they have to say. But you know, I wanna give my opinion on this. Is this really going to happen? And we'll talk about the RTX 50 Super Series and what this could mean for that, well, higher VRAM refresh of the RTX 50 Series. And the first thing, I want to do is just let's check up on the GPU prices. So let's head over to Newegg.com as this seems to be where you can typically get the lowest price GPUs this is not an ad. It's just how it is. And let's take a look at the RTX 5070 first because this GPU was always the most attainable closest to its MSRP. Has it actually hit MSRP? Well, let's take a look. So if I sort by the lowest price, what I'm seeing here is that yes, indeed, you can readily get the RTX 5070 at its official MSRP of $549. And this time there's actually multiple models available. And by the way, this actually could be a good time to pick up an RTX 5070. We'll talk about that. If you are looking to pick one up, I will have affiliate links to it in the description below, as well as affiliate links to every single RTX 50 series card that I can find at its official MSRP. Cause if you're looking, if it's finally available, yeah, I mean, look, you never know when cards are gonna be available. It could be a good time, but the Super Series could be around the corner as well. So that's something to think about. Now, sure, that one's available. What about the 5070 Ti? This one has been notoriously hard to get at or near its MSRP. And once again, if I sort by the lowest price, what I'm seeing is, well, actually the lowest I'm seeing is roughly $800. So this is still $50 above its MSRP. And I will tell you with the RTX 5070 Ti, I don't think the Super Series is gonna be that much much better. So honestly, once this hits MSRP, 
I would probably just buy it because sure, you could wait and get a 24 gigabyte version, but what's the point? 16 gigabytes in my opinion is honestly enough for the 5070 Ti and upping that to 24 gigabytes isn't gonna massively change in your games. By the time you're using 24 gigabytes, the 5070 Ti, you're probably gonna wanna replace it because of the GPU itself. But in any case, what about the RTX 5080? This one has been a little bit better about its MSRP, but let's see how it's going. Well, I am seeing if I sort by the lowest price and apparently scroll for an eon to find the first one. Well, I'm seeing $1,350 as the lowest price, which is very shocking and would definitely, yeah, that I, I could see how that would lead to nobody buying it. Let's go ahead and check Amazon as well and see if they have better supply. I am seeing a little bit better on Amazon. I'm seeing, you know, around $1,200, but that that's still not good. So it's looking like maybe there's undersupply of the 5080 right now, which is very bizarre. But what about the RTX 5090? This one has been nowhere near its MSRP for the entire length of it being sold. Strangely, I'm actually seeing a $2,400 RTX 5090, which is the absolute closest MSRP I have ever seen with the RTX 5090. So it looks like, in general, prices are coming down, but for some reason, the 5080 is bizarrely way above its MSRP. So I think they really are getting ready to phase out the 5070 Ti and 5080 definitely. Specifically, I think those two cards are just gonna be flat out replaced by the Super Series. But as you can see, the pricing for the RTX 50 Series, especially the 5070 and 5090, seems to be getting better. So what do I think about this? Well, look, I'll tell you this much. Since the RTX 50 Super Series is probably gonna be happening either by the end of the year or early next year, which is coming up really, really soon. Yeah, they're gonna have to phase out these cards. So not only do I believe they're limiting supply on certain models, but I also believe you will actually see some price cuts very soon. So if you're looking to get a specific card this month, actually it could be a good time if you do see some price cuts, specifically the RTX 5070 Ti and 5080. I think they're really gonna try and cut the price on those things this month to try and get them to their MSRP and start getting them out the door before the Super Series hits. The RTX 5090 and 5070, you could see some discounts such as an RTX 5070 for $500 and the 5090 finally hitting its MSRP of $1,999. So yes, this month could be a really good time to pick up a GPU unless you're looking at the RTX 5070. To be honest with you guys, if it's still 550 this month, I wouldn't pick it up. If it hits 500, I would maybe pick it up, but honestly, an 18 gigabyte 5070 Super, if it is still 550, would be a much, much better GPU for hardly any more money. So with that being the case, yes, I do think there'll be some discounts and I think within two to maybe four months later, they will be replacing these cards with Super Series variants. So you're gonna have to make the call as to whether or not you wanna pick one up at a discount or if you wanna wait for the RTX 50 Super Series. But hey, that's just what I think. Would you pick up a discounted RTX 50 Series card or at this point, would you just wait for the Super Series? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.